Welcome back to the Tidarium Hangar and happy Friday with PulseCon going on, TFCon going on. There's going to be a lot of stuff today looking forward, looking into the future. So I'm going to take the time to look backwards and look into the past, into 10 figures that I feel still hold up today and they're approximately five years or older. Now there's going to be some on this list you don't agree with and I would like to hear what you think in the comments below. So let's go ahead and get into this list of old masterpiece transformers that hold up today. Coming up. So number 10 on my list here is good old MP36. Now this is gonna be the newest figure on my list. And this was early 2017. So that means it's a few months away from being five years old but it's getting old, it is aging. And so many people say they'd like to see the Magic Square version upscaled and upgraded. And in some elements, it may actually beat this if they did that, but I think it's out of the cards. It is not on the table for us. Now, the downside to this figure is the back. The back of it is a little bit uh, rough, but there are some options and kits to cover that up, some parts for me covering up. But overall, I still think it's a great figure. It holds up today. And every time I handle this figure, I remember how much I like this figure for. And this is one of those that there are four, five, five different KO versions. You can get a good price on one, maybe, <laughs> maybe these days. But it's a great figure. And yes, they could do better, but I don't think they should waste their time making another version of Megatron. Fans Toys Reflector spotter now the reason this is so low on my list is because of the fact that they're never going to reissue it they've come out saying some i guess the excuse is the mold's gone or broken or warped or defunct and they're not ever going to reissue the ft11 spotter again but it looks pretty good it's the most tune accurate out of all of them and it's not perfect no it's not perfect but it holds up and as i've owned every version of this in the past I still have this one, and I still have the KFC Opticlones, which are, which this, in my opinion, is only 10 or 15% better than KFC. KFC is a good set, but this one's never getting reissued again. They might do a 2.0. I don't want them to waste their time on it, though. There are so many other great figures out there that fans always needs to work on, get us, release. So I don't want a 2.0 of this, although I have this. I'm happy with this. If you could track one down for a good price, I do suggest that. I am asking for a lot of hate, right? But x Transports Ollie, 1.0 was a bit floppy. I owned it and I traded it to my buddy because I got the 3.0 and they fixed a lot of the tolerance. It's still not perfect, but look at this thing. You know that's Willy. I think they actually did a Willy good job with a third version of this and the tolerances are tighter it's not as floppy as the 1.0 but even that if i had the 1.0 it still looks great on my shelf and i could pose it and do everything with it i just had to take a little more time care and effort but let's look at the alt mode we all see that that's wheelie but the other thing about this is it holds up the character is not very popular so I really don't see a need for other companies to waste their time, effort, money, and resources to make more of this character when one exists that's great and is reasonably priced. Next on my list is number seven, the MP09 Rodimus. I know a lot of people hate this figure because it's fragile. It's fragile. And the transformation's not the easiest in the world, but it's, it's where... Takara started going more complex and less intuitive, and the parts are kind of weak. Oddly enough, I heard there was a company that, or a group of individuals, not really a company, that bought up a bunch of broken ones. They made their own parts to fix it and make it better and more durable, and then resold them as KOs. I don't want Takara doing a 2.0. I really don't think any other company should waste their time on this. And although their hot rod, which I think the Takara hot rod is not great, this fits the bill. It's okay. They did have some other features where it was supposed to be hot rod and Rodimus in the same. That did not work. 
It's one of the things about the alt mode is that if you bought the Hasbro version that was brought over to Toys R Us, it was really cheap. It was like 70 bucks. And then if you got the buy one, get one half off sell, you got two for, I don't know, a hundred and something dollars. So with this, it that one did not come with the trailer, but I never would have displayed the trailer anyway, so it didn't bother me. So next on the list, number six is Takara's MP13 Soundwave. And if you buy the one that was the Toys R Us release, they call it the MPO2, lots of confusion there. Still, this figure still holds up today. It looks really good. And I actually felt like it was dated and there were some issues. I didn't really like the way the hips worked on it overall. It just looks kind of odd at the, the upper thigh level. But past that, comparing these close to what's coming with Fans Toys, this still holds up and holds its own against Fans Toys. We'll see in person when the Fans Toys one comes out. It's supposed to be out this month in... Wait, I heard September... Now, the cassettes were okay for what they were. I think we're going to see much better coming from the fan toys in the cassette department. But the alt mode is fine. The bot is fine. Overall, Soundwave himself still holds up today. Can't wait to do a comparison to the fan toys acoustic wave. Number five on my list is Make Toys Contact Shot. You know, the thing about this one is that it's such a good figure that it made me go buy the G1 again and I've got the G1 now but I don't have Make Toys Contact Shot. The thing is very expensive. In, in fact, it's even hard to get your hands on. It doesn't show up as often as it should but they would make a killing if they reissued this guy because I think they were ahead of the time and the market wasn't ready but this figure still looks great in every mode, in every angle and it's an awesome figure but yeah, they were ahead of their time. The alt mode is a really super futuristic sports car. Looks really great. It's awesome. All of the accessories appear to be integrated. I don't have this figure, but I look forward to picking it up maybe one day if Make Toys maintains a pulse and reissues this figure. Number four on my list is Takara Shockwave. They're MP29. Lots of Takara on this list, and I, I guess they've done some good work. At the end of the day, this is the most G1 accurate representation of Shockwave that's out there. I like the Cloud9 a quick blast. Uh, really close to this, and in fact, it's fancier looking than this. But if you want the tune look, you gotta go with this. Now, a lot of people lovingly call this Lavender Wave. Now, I actually think the Plus version has a better coloration, and in my mind, Shockwave is this color right here. I like this color of Shockwave, the darker, deeper, more rich purple. And, you know, Shockwave can definitely go hold himself. Number three on my list is Fans Toys Dinobot. So I'm going to lump them all in one, even though me personally, Swoop's my favorite. And it's my favorite character. And it's what got me deeper into third party but with this they still hold up they have the very tune aesthetic they were tune before tune was cool but they still have a real world element to them even though i kind of dumped all my fans toys figures i know they still hold up i like the size and the value that you get with giga power better than these i don't really want to spend 300 bucks a piece on these and some people spend 600 a piece on the secondary market because they still look so good and so close to the tune accurate. Dino mode is great on all of them. It looks good. I think the Cesium actually has a better alt mode than Scoria. From what I hear, I canceled my Cesium and I kind of regretted that. But anyway, that's still great if you get either set. If you get the Fans Toys or the Giga Power, you're doing fine. But Giga Power's newer Fans Toys still holds up. So number two on my list of figures that still hold up that are pretty old and this is Rekgar and Junkions. So they're all based off the basic mold more or less and the basic transformation and design with a lot of parts swapped out. But if you don't believe me on the fact that this old mold holds up in 2021 into 2022, then ask KFC. They've been doubling down, tripling down, Quinn tuppling down on this mold and they sell out 
So if these did not hold up, they wouldn't be selling out. They look great. They are very good representations of Junkions overall. I like that even though I'm not in for $120 a piece and you know $12, $1,500 for one shelf, I appreciate the aesthetic, how good they look, and I have the record. I like them. The alt mode is clean, looks exactly like you expect, and another case of, well, he's riding himself. So number one on my list is the Takara Prowl. And the reason for this is because of the fact that he looks so good as the character. This is a really old design, and I really don't think anybody else should bother making this character because Takara already did a good enough job. Now... This is one of the few pluses, the repaints, that I felt was really, really worthwhile. Now, I do kind of like the blue tint to it and all of that, but a lot of people feel like the alt mode was better for the original one, and it's just too tuned and clean for the modern one. But with this, this figure holds up, and I don't really think Sideswipe holds up. I think we could see a better Sideswipe. Bad Cube did one. Maybe another company will do one. Uh, Wheeljack's good, but Wheeljack could probably be better, and so on. With the car bots, this one was my favorite mold. Here's the uh, tune aesthetic alt mode, and it does look kind of bland. A lot of people like the extra stuff that was on the original one, but overall, it's still a good figure, and I prefer the plus in bot mode. And yes, I think people write the original one in alt mode. I really can't say if everything is definitive or anything is definitive, but this is, in my opinion, close enough. So let me know what you think about this list and what do you think is an old mold, like five years old and older in Masterpiece that still holds up today that you don't think there's a need to make a better version and you are super happy with. Let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe and Looking forward to TFCon, PulseCon, Tidarium Hanger, out.